Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. We're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes here, and these are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. So without further ado, let's introduce the patrons. We have Ink Junkie 101 and Gav. Thank you for being patrons. So we're gonna roll here for Ink Junkie 101, one through three or four through six. Okay, so he gets this one and the other one goes to Gav. So these are the final mystery boxes for November 2019. So let's get stuck into it. And the theme this month is Total Chaos. So who knows what we'll find inside here. Okay, starting off Modern Horizons, Rivals Vixan, Armaket. Ooh, Chandra Foil. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Journey into Nyx, Magic Origins, and Eldritch Moon. Okay, so let's lay them out. We'll go something like this. Okay. So the foil is one of my favorite planeswalkers here. That is Chandra Awakened Inferno. Legendary planeswalker Chandra from M20. Six loyalty for six mana. This spell can't be countered. Her plus two, each opponent gains an emblem with at the beginning of your upkeep. This emblem deals one damage to you. Minus three, Chandra Awakened Inferno deals three damage to each non-elemental creature. And minus X, Chandra Awakened Inferno deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker. If a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile it instead. And some fantastic foiling on that one. Very nice indeed. Okay, so there we are, Ink Junkie 101. Let's get cracking here. Patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So starting off with Rivals of Ixalan. Okay, we have Sun Sentinel, Miscloaked Herald, Goblin Trailblazer, Creature Goblin Pirate. So just the lighting, just a tad here. There we go. Plummet. Recover. Soul of the Rapids, Evolving Wilds, Bombard, Luminous Bonds, Curious Obsession, first of the Uncommons, Merfolk Mistbinder, Baffling End, and the rare is Protean Raider, Creature Shapeshifter Pirate, 223, has Raid, if you attack with a creature this turn you may have Protean Raider, enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. All right, and a foil, Pitiless Plunderer. The forest and an emblem of Watley. All right, so there we are. And if there are any cards that I have not set aside, I'll be checking the prices during editing and correcting that later. Okay, next we have Armanket Hieroglyphic Illumination, Fling. Mighty Leap, Ancient Crab, Colossipede, Scarab Feast, Horror of the Broken Land, Sun Scorched Desert, Naga Vitalist, Pursue Glory, and Uncommon's Warfire, Javelinier, Gale Strike, Limits of Solidarity, and the rare is Prepare to Fight. So Prepare is an instant for two. Untap target creature, it gets plus two, plus two, and gains life link until end of turn. And fight is a sorcery for four, has aftermath, so cast this spell only from your graveyard, then exile it. Target creature control fights, target creature and opponent controls. Alright, and an island and magic jewels. No crazy invocation in that one, alas. And uh, Armand Kett was when I started playing, so have fond memories of that set, even though many people did not like it. So leave a note in the comments, which set did you start with, and what do you think of Armand Kett? Okay, Eldritch Moon, we have Spring Sage Ritual, Galvanic Bombardment, Borrowed Malevolence, Woodcutter's Grit, Spontaneous Mutation, Bold Impaler, Guardian of Pilgrims, Displace, and Uncommon's Shreds of Sanity, yes! Very Lovecraftian, that one. Fortune's Favor, Murder, and the rare is Collective Effort. Not bad, Sorcery for three, has Escalate, so tap and untap creature you control. Pay this cost for each mode chosen beyond the first. Choose one or more, destroy target creature with power four or greater. 
Destroy a target enchantment or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature target player controls. Alright, and we get a, this is non-foil, Grizzled Angler. Flips around, but there is something else there. Into a Grizzly Angler Fish. And also, oh, we've got this one before as well. Another rare, Docent of Perfection. Creature Insect Horror. 5-4 for 5 mana with flying. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 one, one blue human wizard creature token onto the battlefield. Then if you control three or more wizards, transform Docent of Perfection into their final iteration. A creature Eldrazi Insect. So that's a 6-5 with flying wizards. You control get plus 2, plus 1 and have flying. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 one, one blue human wizard creature token onto the battlefield. Craziness. Okay, checklist and magic jewels again. Did you play that back in the day? What do you think compared to MCG Arena? Definitely uh, more impressed by Arena. Okay, Journey into Nyx up next. So we have Font of Fortunes, Magma Spray, Harvest Guard Acids, Golden Hind, Return Reveler, Renowned Weaver, Blade Tusk Boar, Cruel Feeding, Mortal Obstinacy, Sigiled Starfish, Uncommons Consigned to Dust, Spiteful Blow, Gnarled Scarhide, Legend, or not Legendary, Enchantment Creature, Minotaur, that's pretty cool, and the rare, oh, <laughs> Mana Confluence, Craziness. Okay, so you have done rather nicely this month, sir. Tap, pay one life, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. All right. Fantastic pool there, forest, and a bird token. Okay, so instantly, Journey into Nyx will be cracking the whole Theros block next month, so that ought to be fun. Next up, Magic Origins. So I think that last pull is going to be almost impossible to beat, but we're going to try our best here. We have Avon Battle Priest, Eye Blight Assassin, Chandra's Fury, Disperse, Orchard Spirit, Read the Bones, Fairy Miscreant, Nissa's Pilgrimage, Enlightened Ascetic, Gearhu Gearcrafter, Sky Snare Spider, First Uncommon, Hydralash, Skyraker Giant, and the rare is Dwinin Guiltleaf Dian, legendary creature Elphoria 3 4 for 4 with reach. Other elf creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1, and whenever Dwinin Guiltleaf Dian attacks, you gain 1 life for each attacking elf you control. Alright, Island and Magic Origins. Final pack here for Ink Junkie, we have Modern Horizons. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat. That mana confluence. Oh, we're back to the regular ordering now. I think I must have had, uh, this must be like from the second box I had recently. Okay, we have Phantom Ninja, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Spinehorn Minotaur, Bellowing Elk, Ninja of the New Moon, and I bet that elk is bellowing because uh, Oko is out of the picture now. Cleaving Sliver, Knight of Old Benalia, Man of War. Mind Rake, Miraza Behemoth, Uncorn's Birthing Bowels, Urza's Rage, Lava Belly Sliver, and the rare is Plain Bound Accomplice, Creature Human Wizard 1 3 for 3. You pay a red, you may put a Planeswalker card from your hand onto the battlefield, suck it at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, a Snow Covered Island, I'll put that in as well. Sliver, which guy is this? This is the Lancer Sliver. And a illusion token. Okay, so some pretty tasty pulls there today for Ink Junkie 101. So we'll set this aside. And put that at the front actually. Next up we have Gav. Thank you for being a patron. So we'll get stuck into the second box for the month. I'm curious what I put in this last one. It's tough to remember. There were actually nine of these this month. Modern Horizons, Dominaria. All right, Thrunavell Drain. Oh, Gideon. Hello, sir. Kaladesh, Ravnica Allegiance, and Corset 2020. So this this uh, box is pretty loaded. So how about we do 
don't suppose it really matters the ordering they're all pretty good let's take a look at the Gideon here for you sir so this is a I believe the mythic edition Gideon black blade legendary planeswalker Gideon let's get that in focus for loyalty for three mana as long as it's your turn, Gideon Blackblade is a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to Gideon Blackblade during your turn. His plus one, up to one other target creature you control gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink or Indestructible until end of turn. And minus six exile target, non-land permanent and some very nice foiling on that one. Okay, so pop that aside. Get stuck into it, Core 2020. Alright, <clears throat> we have Moment of Heroism, Negate, Goblin Bird Grabber Creature Goblin, very nice to see, Brightwood Tracker, Bone Splinters, Healer of the Glade, Cloud Conseer, Destructive Digger Creature Goblin, yes, lots of goblins from this set, Griffin Protector, Stone Golem, and Uncommon's Ogre Siegebreaker, Portal of Sanctuary, Corpse Knight, not a misprint, alas, so it's not as valuable, and rare is Starfield Mystic. Creature Human Cleric 2 2 for 2, enchantment spells you cast cost, one less to cast, and whenever an enchantment you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, but a plus one plus one counter on Starfield Mystic. Okay, and a forest and an elemental token. Moving on to Dominaria, which incidentally will be cracking more of this tomorrow, so stay tuned, or actually, no, not tomorrow, I think it's later today. It's a bit hard when you're filming these ahead of time. Okay, we have Talarian Scholar, Sarah Disciple, Gitu Lava Runner, Gaia's Protector, Cabal Paladin, Power Stone Shard, Ancient Animus, Call the Cavalry. Demonic Vigor, Blood Tallow Candle, love that artwork, Uncommon's Amaranthine Wall, Juggernaut, and the rare is Oath of Teferi, Legendary Enchantment for 5. When it enters the battlefield, exile another target permanent you control, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. And you may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than only once. Decent pull, and the legendary creature is Danitha Caption Paragon. The forest and a suckling token. Okay, onward to Kaladesh. Still hoping for an invention here. It's been a good long while since I've pulled one of those. Okay, we have Reckless Fireweaver. Herald of the Fair, Thriving Turtle. Ruinous Gremlin. Love the gremlins here. Up to all sorts of mischief. Lawless Broker. Kuja Seed Sculptor. Dund Operative. Nanam Cobra. Propeller Pioneer, Workshop Assistant, and Uncommon's Ether Torch Renegade, Contraband Kingpin, Ceremonious Rejection, and nice, Panharmonicon, Artifact for four. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. And that goes nicely with the Oath of Teferi there with the double triggers. Good day, Planes, and what is this? Uh, Magic Jewels again. Okay, moving right along, Ravnica Allegiance. So doing pretty nicely today, I would say. Next up we have Spear Spewer, Creature Goblin Warrior, Concordia Pegasus, Quench, Rubble Slinger, Thirsting Shade, Stony Strength, Get the Point, Justicia's Portal, Final Payment, Rakdos Locket, yes! Any Rakdos fans in the audience? Get a Galloping Lizrog, Oars of Racketeers, Cry of the Carnarium, and the rare is a Rix Mighty Reveler, Creature Human Shaman, 2-2 two, two for 2, a Spectacle 2, black and red, you may cast a spell for its Spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn, and when Rix Mighty Reveler enters the battlefield, discard a card, then draw a card, and if its Spectacle cost was paid, Instead, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Okay, so pretty crazy artwork there. And a Rakdos Guildgate, yes, and a human token. Okay, moving right along. Throne of Eldraine. Draino your Wallato, particularly if you're uh, 
opening those collector packs. Okay, we have Wishful Merfolk, Seven Dwarves, Outflank, Opt, Wolf's Quarry, Reaper of Night, Bacon to a Pie, Signpost Scarecrow, Unexplained Vision, and Uncommon Shambling Suit, Covetous Urge, Archon of Absolution, and a Mythic, yes! Brazen Borrower, Creature Fairy Rogue, 3 1 for 3, with Petty Theft, 1 and a blue, Instant Adventure, Return Target, Non Land Permanent, and Opponent Controls to its owner's hand, as Flash and Flying, and it can block only creatures with flying. Fantastic pull there. And you also get a Foil Rare, Erin Craig Pyromancer, Creature Human Wizard, 0 4 for 3, whenever you draw your second card each turn. Ion Craig Pyromancer deals 3 damage to any target. Okay, Forest and a Human Token final pack here. We have Modern Horizons. So again, we have done fantastically well so far. Let's see if we can go for an even bigger finish. We have Recruit the Worthy. Viashino Sand Sprinter Spell Snuff. Twin Silk Spider, Umazawa's Charm, Prohibit, Savage Swipe, Volatile Claws, Reign of Revelation, and Uncommon's Hollow Head Sliver, Goblin Matron, Creature Goblin, very cool, Shatter Assumptions, and the rare is Astral Drift, Enchantment for three. Whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may so target creature if you do return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. You can cycle it for two and a white. Alright. Oh, and a foil. Knight of Old Benalia with some very striking foiling there. And we get a snow covered plains. And uh, not sure what this one was. Face of Divinity and an elemental token. Alright, so there we are, Gav. Thank you for being a patron. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.